Hey guys, it's Kawaii Sweet World, and today we're making these really cute lemon chick cookies for Easter. These cookies are so good, and they have a light lemon frosting, which makes them really tasty. So let's get started. To start off with our homemade sugar cookies, you're going to need one and a half cups of flour, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And just go ahead and whisk this all together. Now in a separate bowl, add in one stick or half a cup of softened butter. And I'm just creaming this to get it nice and soft. Then you're going to add in three quarters cup of sugar. And then just cream everything together. Now crack in one egg. And mix this in too. Afterwards, just mix in a teaspoon of vanilla extract. At this point, you're going to add in your dry ingredients and combine everything. And you'll see at this point that our cookie dough is really, really soft. So to firm it up a little bit, we're going to place it in the fridge for about an hour or the freezer for 20 minutes. In the meantime, we'll make our frosting. Here I have one stick or half a cup of softened butter and I'm sifting over one and a half cups of powdered sugar. Then just blend these together. And it's going to be pretty crumbly at this point, so we're going to add in some lemon juice to give it a nice lemony flavor and thin it out. To avoid getting seeds into the juice, you could squeeze it cut side up, but I wanted to show how pretty the lemon was. So I just had to strain the juice. Now just add a tablespoon or so of this lemon juice to your powdered sugar and mix it in. And I'm also going to add in a tablespoon or so of milk. You can change the amount of lemon juice or milk depending on how lemony or creamy you like the frosting to be. Now I'm going to add in some yellow gel food coloring and mix it in. To make orange frosting, I'm going to take about a quarter cup of our yellow frosting, place it in a separate bowl and then add in just a tiny bit of red food coloring. I actually added too much here, so I had to add in some yellow to balance it out. At this point, your dough should be nice and firm, so just take it out onto a floured work surface. And I'm actually only using about half of the dough here, so I could save the rest for later. So just flour up your dough, and then roll it out. I think that a quarter of an inch thick is perfect. And now we're just going to cut out some circles. I'm using a two and a half inch cookie cutter here, but of course you could make mini ones or big ones. I think that mini ones would be really cute. Place these on a baking sheet and then pop this in the fridge for about 15 minutes to help it keep its shape before you bake it. Then bake at 350 for about 9 to 11 minutes. And you can see these make really nice perfect sugar cookies. Let these cool completely before you frost them. Once they're cooled, just spread on your yellow frosting. If you plan to dip these in sanding sugar like I am, this really doesn't have to be perfect. But if you want to keep these plain, just do your best to get it as smooth as possible. Now here I have some pale yellow sanding sugar, and we're just going to dip our cookie in. And you can see this makes a really nice sparkly chick, and it also kind of looks like fur. For eyes, I'm using little mini chocolate chips. I like to remove the little tail of the chocolate chip just to make it sit in the frosting better. But you don't have to do that, of course. Then we're going to take our orange frosting and just pipe on a little dab of it. And I'm using this cookie scrub that I got from the YouTuber Miki's Pantry to spread out my frosting. If you want to learn how to make this cookie scrub, I'll leave a link in the description box below. Now for the feet, I'm piping on two little V shapes. And again, you can use your cookie scribe to perfect the feet. For her arms, I'm piping on two small lines. And then we're going to sprinkle on more yellow sanding sugar. Once you've finished sprinkling it on, you can just tap off the excess. And that is our cute little chick cookie. And as I mentioned earlier, you can keep these plain too. You don't have to dip them in sanding sugar. 
and that's it. As you can see, these chick cookies are very cute and they're really easy to make too. And I love the hint of lemon in the frosting. It makes these cookies really great for spring. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to share your creations with me on Facebook or on my Instagram, Kawaii Sweet Eats, with the hashtag Kawaii Sweet World. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.